Hello and welcome to another reading vlog. It is Sunday, March 1st, I think, right? Today's the 1st? Yep, March 1st. It's like 9.30 a.m. I'm gonna go to church in about an hour, but I'm already writing and everything. So I'm gonna start this vlog and tell you my reading plans for this week. Hopefully I read a lot, but who knows? You never know. Um, but if you watched last week's reading vlog, you would know I am in the middle of Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. This is book five. I am rereading the series so I can finally continue with Bloodlines because I haven't read that series yet. So in this book, I am on page 173. I'm on chapter 10. It's going good. I love the series. I love anything. Well, I try to love anything with vampires. I will definitely read anything with vampires. It's my favorite supernatural creature. I love vampires. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with vampires. So I first read this series when I was in high school. So I probably first read them like six, at least six years ago. Um, and so this is my first time in six years reading them. And it's been a great time. Love it. I am, it's like really interesting because I love the characters more as the series progresses. When I first picked up the first book for my reread, I was like, I hate everyone. But now I'm obsessed with everyone. But yes, hopefully I can finish that this week. We will see. And then there's another book that I've been in the middle of for a while. I've been listening to this one on audiobook. Like a few months ago I started it, but I haven't really been listening to audiobooks lately, so I just haven't like completed it. And that is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is also a reread. Last year I started rereading all of Cassandra Clare's books so I could finally continue with the ones that I haven't read because I think I have... Um, I have two, so I need Lord of Shadows, Queen of Air and Darkness, and then the Red Scrolls of Magic, and then Ghosts of Shadow Market, um, and then Chain of Gold comes out this week? Is it this week? I already have it pre-ordered and everything. But yes, I am rereading all of them because it had been a while since I read this series. So I am on page 163. I'm on chapter 8. Yes, I like to, when I reread books, if there's an audiobook, I'll listen to it. That is the only time I listen to audiobooks is if it's a reread for me. I can't listen to audiobooks for books that I've never read before. So we'll see if I pick this up on audio. If not, after Spirit Bound, I will definitely pick that one up physically because I just like am ready to finish with my rereads. Um, for some reason last year, I thought it would be a great idea to reread like five series all at once. So I'm still working on that. But yes, those are my plans. They're both pretty big books and they're both like, they're both fifth books in the series, which is great. Almost done with those rereads. But yes, those are my plans for this week. Um, if you saw last week's vlog, you know that I started the TV show Hunter on Amazon Prime, or Hunters on Amazon Prime, about Nazi hunters. Uh, Logan Lerman is the main guy. I have like three or four episodes left of that, so maybe I'll finish that this week. If you're interested to know like the TV shows I watch, uh, let me know because I love TV shows. I have a TV show on Sunday nights. I watch Bob's Burgers. Monday nights, Prodigal Son is on. Tuesday, The Biggest Loser. And Wednesday, Survivor's on. So I watch a lot of TV. Um, I just kind of consume stories anywhere I can and but yeah that is my update for today I don't know if I'll see you later because I don't know if I'll read today um I have been reading a lot I started subbing so I've been reading a lot when I sub so like on days that I don't sub like obviously today because it's a weekend I like consume more like media and watch tv and videos and youtube and stuff but we'll see what happens I don't know but anyway I guess we'll just see you later Hello, my camera's kind of crooked, but it's literally balancing on my TV. Um, it is Monday the 2nd, and I just got back from subbing. I wasn't scheduled to sub today, but then they called me in. But I got so much reading done today. So, y'all know I am reading Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. Well, let's looky here. Look at my little book sleeve, it's so cute. Anyway, I'm now on page... 404 so I read like 220 pages I have like 80 pages left or something like that so this will okay well I'm as of right now I'm not subbing tomorrow so I'm going to try to finish this tomorrow we'll see if I'm subbing tomorrow I will definitely finish this tomorrow but if I'm not I will try to finish it I don't know if I'm gonna read any more today I might because like whew, things are heating up I might read until at least the end of the chapter who knows? But yes, it's going good. It's going great. I, y'all know I'm rereading the series because I've said it a hundred times. I'm having so much fun. And I just wish, like, when I'm, oh my gosh, I, mean, I thought somebody was, like, here. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, so like rereading the series, I really wish they had done the first movie justice. Like it's not like terrible, but they did it more of like a comedy. And I wish like the whole series would have been made into a movie because I would have loved to see that. But yes, it's going great, going great. And when I finish that, hopefully tomorrow, then I will start City of Lost Souls. So I might go for a walk today. And the smart thing to do would be to listen to City of Lost Souls on audiobook. But I might listen to music instead. Or on Mondays, or is today Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, today's Monday. Did I say Tuesday? Monday. Anyway, on Mondays, my favorite murder, my tr like favorite true crime podcast comes out with a new episode. So might listen to that. We'll see what happens. But I will update you when things have happened. Hello. Excuse me, I'm not wearing makeup. Yes, my face is naturally this red. It's fine, we're confident here. Um, but basically, it's Tuesday morning, and I finished Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. I give it five out of five stars. This might be one of my favorite books in the series. It's so hard because these books are so action-packed that I'm like, I don't know what's my favorite. Because every time I read one, I'm like, that's my favorite. No, this one's my favorite. No, this one. But it's definitely one of my favorites, and it leaves off on such a big cliffhanger. And, like, things get resolved. Like, the big problem in the series gets resolved, and then another big problem is introduced. And it's just chaos and madness and I'm so excited to read the last one and like have everything concluded even though I've read this series I've already told you it's been a while so like I hardly remember anything but I'm excited to finish this series and then finally read Bloodlines because I haven't read that yet but since it's like 10 45 I already finished a book well if you can't tell I'm not working today so I have all day I might watch some YouTube I might watch the show Hunters and I also might see if uh, last night's Prodigal Son episode is on Hulu yet um, because I'm also watching that show and it's so good. But there is something that I have been like, had this urge to read. Let me show you. So I'm really tempted to pick up a Blackbird Volume 1. It follows this main character named Miss Sal and there's a world of myth and magic and she is a special person that can like see all of that magic but she doesn't want anything to do with it she just wants a boyfriend so like let's go it is a manga obviously if you couldn't tell so it would be a really quick read so i might pick that up because i've just been like having this urge to pick up another manga i haven't read one since january i think and so i really want to pick one up but yeah that's what's happening today i already finished a book my first book in march it's going good going great. I still do want to read City of Lost Souls, but since I'm not working today, I'm probably gonna watch a lot of things, um, but we'll see. I'll let you know. Okay, hello, update. It's like 1.45 and I finished A Blackbird Volume 1 and I gave it three stars, so I really like the concept. Basically, I told you that girl, uh, Misao, she can see like demons and like spirits and things like that, and she's kind of getting sucked into this world and she really doesn't want to be. And I really like the concept, um, but there were some questionable things in here, like age and consent. And I feel like every time I read a shoujo or manga, um, there's always like questionable things in there that I don't agree with. I definitely prefer prefer a shonen manga, um, which is more of like the action fantasy type of like it's four boys type of thing. Um, but I liked it. I just don't know if I'll continue because it was really questionable. Some of the questionable things were like the age range between the love interests and um, like there were some like consent things in here like one of the main guys would like touch the main girl and she would like push him away but still the fact that he would go ahead and like grab her or do things like that it was weird. But yeah three stars don't know if I'll continue but I like the concept so I'm like I don't know if you've read this let me know. Hello, it is Wednesday. It is 3.42. I just got home from subbing and I actually got to read a lot today. So I'm now on page 300 of City of Lost Souls. So I am over halfway done. It's going good. I read physically for most of it, but for lunch I was playing a game on my phone. So I listened to the audiobook during lunch. So for like about 30 minutes I listen to the audiobook which is fun because I can finally color in an audiobook square in my bullet journal I haven't done that since January so because I didn't listen to any audiobooks in February if you don't know the only time I will listen to an audiobook is if I am rereading a book that is literally the only time because I don't trust myself enough to be able to pick up on all the details for a new to me story but if I've already read the story and I know it like it's okay if I miss things here and there you know what I'm saying 
but yes it's going good i think this is my least favorite i want to say in the mortal instruments uh maybe of all of christina claire's books just because um it's a little boring but also i hate hate the position that jace is in in this book i don't want to spoil anything just in case you haven't but um jace in this book um the things that are happening to him are not my favorite so like don't like reading about that but yes so i have like i don't know 200 230 pages left which is great um but i don't sub the rest of the week and the next week is spring break so i'll have to like read while i'm home which i get so lazy when i'm home and just want to like watch things so <laughs> we'll see if i finish it this week or not but oh oh i didn't tell you yesterday i got a package from katie from katie's book nook literally almost in every video i talk about her so her channel is always linked below but i got a package and she sent me four books and they're all arcs i mean two of them i think are already out by now but like let me talk about these so the first one i want to talk about is probably like one of my most anticipated this year and i didn't even know about it till she was at ala and she sent me this and was like lol look and i was like wait that sounds good because i looked it up and that is the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires by grady hendrix this comes out in april and so basically it's set in a small town in oh it's actually set in charleston which is not that small of a town but it's a southern uh, city town whatever and they have like a book club it's a bunch of these women and they'll talk about books they'll talk about marriage motherhood neighborhood gossip blah 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 and they also love to talk about true crime um and then one day this neighbor's handsome relative comes into her life and she he's sensitive he's well read oh my gosh she loves him what is gonna happen but there's something off about him he doesn't have a bank account or id and patricia's mother-in-law insists that she knew him when she was a girl are there vampires in the town and then murders start happening children go missing what's happening but basically anything with vampires you know i'll read i am so excited about this book um so thanks katie for hooking me up i mean she gave me all these so thanks girl love you the other one is by the book by amanda Sellett. um this says it follows a girl named mary porter malcolm she's prepared for high school in the one way she knows an extensive review of classic literature to help her navigate friendships romantic liaisons and other drama she has come to expect so i think she like tries to live her life like it is a novel love that so cute and then the other two i think that are already out are the vanishing deep by astrid schulte um, I don't know much about this one, um, but it was like everywhere and I kept seeing it everywhere um, and I've heard that it's good. The other one is Katie and Maddie's like favorite book this year, well one of them so far, and that is The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller and Katie actually went to a signing, so she got this signed to me, if I could show you. So it just says, Keely, take what you deserve, Trisha Levenseller. Like how sweet is that? I'm so excited for all four of these books. Thank you, Katie. Love you. But yes, I think that is it for this update. I'm probably done reading today. I'm going to go work out, hopefully, if I can work up to it. Today I'm, like, having a really bad, like, self-esteem day, which is weird for me because I love myself lately. I didn't always, but now I'm in a point where I do, but today is just one of those low self-esteem days. So I really want to go work out to, like, you know, get that runner's high, if you know, you know. But yes. So I'll see you later. Hello. It is actually Friday now, so that means I didn't vlog yesterday. If you can't tell by my beautiful sunburn, I was at a track meet all day. Literally, I woke up, showered, and then left for the track meet. We left at like 10, and we got back at like 11 p.m., so I was there all day. Didn't get to read. It was so much fun. If you don't know me and my whole family, track is kind of like our whole lives we live and breathe track like that's our thing so even though like I have to deal with this on a daily basis in my life worth it because this is like literally not even bad for me some people don't even get sunburn this is like an everyday thing for me it's fine um today I'm not actually going to get to read either because I'm going to another track meet um it is currently what time is it 11 48 and we're leaving at like 1 30 and so I do have time but NCT 127's new album came out today so I am just spending my morning listening to the album all good stuff love it so much I love them and I get to see them on Tuesday which I'm very excited about but yes I'm also watching um Good Mythical Morning 
you can't see that um but i am always behind on youtube videos and so the way i catch up is i like to go down my subscription feed and just click on a channel and then binge watch all the videos i haven't watched so right now i am down to the g section which is good mythical morning which i love but yes that is just my update for today to update you and tell you i didn't read yesterday i'm not gonna read today because it's track season and we're excited let's go tomorrow hopefully i'll be able to read but yes, if you haven't, go listen to NCT 127's album. And if you've never listened to their music, go do it. Because it's the best, and they're great, and they're talented, and they're wonderful. Mwah, love them. And they're one of my old groups. If you don't know, NCT as a whole is one of my old groups. OT21 NCT, let's go. If you know, you know. But yes, that is it for this little update. So I guess I will see you tomorrow, and hopefully I will be reading. Hello! Well, um, today it is actually Sunday. I didn't update at all yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog so I can edit it and upload it for tomorrow and start my new one. But I read three books this week. Yes, that is right. Although I didn't update yesterday, I did finish a book. So let's wrap up what I read. First of all, y'all know I read Spirit Bound, right? That's the fifth book. Hold on. Yes, I read A Sphere Bound by Rochelle Mead, which is the fifth book of the Mirror Academy series. Gave it five stars. I love everyone. I love the characters. I love how problems are getting solved, but there's also a whole new problem. We have one more book to go, so I'm really excited to finish out my reread. I also read Blackbird Volume 1, which was a manga. I gave it three stars. Really weird and questionable things like age and consent and all that stuff was in it not a fan probably won't continue let me know if you've read it though and then yesterday the book that i completed was city of lost souls by cassandra clare book five in the mortal instruments i am rereading this i've probably said that a million times in this vlog but i always forget so i feel like i repeat myself constantly but i gave it four out of five stars just because i mentioned before the situation jace is in in this book is like one of my least favorite things ever it just annoys me so much like it's not bad it's good for the story and the plot but it just annoys me and makes me angry so that's why it's four stars it's also probably my least favorite in the series maybe my least favorite cassandra claire book that i've read so far but yes once again having so much fun rereading that series but yes i completed three books this week which i'm really excited about um but that is it for this video and now i need to start my one for this week so i will see you next time thank you so much for watching as always my social media links will be down below and i'll see you next time bye